Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, do a quick pepper review of uh, one that uh, Sean White from Pepper Lovers Community sent me. Um, <clears throat> this is his own cross and he sent it to me a few days ago so I wanted to do this review before it got too soft. Um, I've actually been out of town on business but uh, I just got back and I had a few minutes so I wanted to, um, I wanted to document this. This is called the, uh, well, he calls it Sean's Solar Flare. And um, in the note that he sent uh, with the pod, he said basically it's what happens when <clears throat> apparently you cross or you grow chocolate super hots net next to red super hots. Um, so apparently he doesn't know exactly what uh, strains are in this. Uh, but uh, if you go to his YouTube channel, Sean White, he actually did a uh, review on this and uh, he said it was very good and, and very hot as well. So I'm looking forward to this. <clears throat> Let's check out uh, the aroma first. Okay, so... As soon as I cut it open, it's very aromatic. Um, it has like a really tart, sharp, almost uh, habanero-like scent to it. It doesn't smell as chinancy as like, um, or or as as close to a super hot as uh, some of the. Um, Buchalokias or you know um, some of the scorpions do I would say it's a little bit closer to a habanero type smell but um, that the inside of the pod looks pretty mean though it's probably a lot hotter than a, than a habanero I would think because uh, there's um, a lot of membrane running down the middle of the pod right there not so much on this side but this side is um, pretty full of placental tissue so <clears throat> I am gonna save a few seeds from this because it's one that I would like to grow next season it's a very beautiful pod and um, if you watch Sean's video he had a really nice looking looking one also um, they, they get to be a, a nice size and just a, a great kind of you know oval wrinkled type shape so I really like the pheno on, on this. All right, let's give it a try and I'll tell you um, what it tastes like. Very juicy. So it's got a sweetness to it. I would think um, it would be a little bit more citrusy being an orange type pod. But it's not too citrusy at all. Um, it is sweet though. It is juicy. But it's very pungent. It has a very forceful up front heat. That's already kicking in pretty strong. Yeah, it's like fiery on the sides of my cheeks right now and on the back of my tongue. It's definitely hotter than, than a habanero. Um, at least it's, it, I mean, it, if anything, it's, it's, it's where habaneros kind of max out maybe. 350, 375,000 Scoville units. Um, but it's, like I said, it's a very... Um, very pungent i mean like like hot sweet nectar because you're getting that sweetness but you're getting the the burn and the heat as well so it's it's a really well balanced um flavor and heat together um the heat doesn't overwhelm the flav flavor and the flavor does not overwhelm the heat um i like it i, I think it's a really good tasting pie um, I think it's, 
I think it's probably going to be good, um, you know, if he wanted to make a sauce out of it. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, just a sauce. I think it, it, with, with these solar flare peppers exclusively in the sauce, that would be, that would be really good. And it would be really hot too, but, but sweet as well. You wouldn't really have to, have to add too much to it. You could just have that pepper exclusively in the sauce. So I'm getting a lot, a lot of burn on this side of my throat for whatever reason. I guess that's where I swallowed it on that side. Yeah, the, the burn is, uh, it's high level. It's high level on this pod. I, I actually didn't think it would be as hot as it is. <clears throat> it's giving me the hiccups. Yeah, I can feel it a lot on the back of my tongue, on the underside of my tongue. Very stinging, like just prickly type fiery burn. But the taste again, you know, I'm still getting the taste actually. The, the flavor and it's, it's, it's zesty. You know, it's got a good, uh, like, zing to it. Uh, but, yeah, it, it definitely brings the heat as well. And it's still, it's, I don't know if it's climbing, but it's definitely staying at a really high level. The heat is uh, just kind of permeating all over. So I think uh, overall, you know, this is a really good, good tasting pepper. Like I said, it's got the, the juiciness, it's got the, the sweetness factor to it, and it absolutely has the heat as well. Um, it's, it's, at this point, it's, it, I mean, it's really hot. I would say it's, it's probably hotter than, than the hottest habanero out there. It may be, um, it may be up with, you know, some, Bucciloki is almost, almost that hot. So anyway, um, I really appreciate you sending me this, uh, Sean. This is really cool. He sent me some other peppers too. And he also sent me a sauce that uh, I'm going to go ahead and try out pretty soon too. It's a verde sauce. So thank you very much. Great pepper. I, I recommend that you make some sauce with these exclusively. Um, if anybody wants to know any more information about this um, solar flare pepper, uh, go ahead and hit up Sean White. Like I said, he's on the uh, PLC Pepper Lovers community on Google+. Plus. He's also got a YouTube channel. All right, guys. You have a good night, and I'll see you soon.